In this video, I'll run through some advice on layout, louver size, colour, folding, privacy and frame positions. The design of your shutter will affect the look from both inside and outside. Unlike curtains or blinds, shutters are designed to stay closed across your window. It's only the louver blades that you need to tilt for privacy to let the light in and out. For this reason, it's key your shutter should match the window layout. There are several different shutter designs you can choose from, but for DIY we keep things simple and focus on the most popular recommended design, which is full height. The full height design covers the whole window from top to bottom. Over this height, the louvers can be split into sections, either by using a horizontal dividing middle rail or by splitting the hidden tilt mechanism. Some people cover only half their window, known as cafe style, but we don't really recommend that. The frames are 60mm deep, so if you only go halfway up your window, the shutters look like they stick out a bit. Plus, whatever you put above won't match. Others choose a split, top opening style shutter, known as tier on tier. A nice idea, but now everyone chooses larger louvers and wider panels, nobody really opens a top set of shutter. So you end up with two rails across the window permanently. Tier on tier is harder to fit, and the top set of shutters will want to sag and sit on the bottom set and rub. So our advice is stick with the full height design. If you want a different design, you'll need to order on the trade order form. Layout. When designing shutters for your window, it's best to keep things simple. So there's one key rule to follow, and that's match the number of shutters to your window layout. So if you have a three section window, you need three shutters, for a four section window, you need four shutters, and so on. Louver size. The size of the louver blades have increased over the years, along with wider shutter panels. The most popular sizes are 76 or 89mm louvers. They're going to let plenty of light in your room and create the feeling of more space. So if you have large windows and like lots of light or have leaded lights, choose the 89mm louver. For anything else, play it safe and go with the 76. We don't really recommend the 64 now unless you're matching existing shutters. They're designed for the older, bifolding style shutters. Colour. Most customers have white windows, and because shutters remain closed across your window most of the time, it's important to have plenty of light coming into your room. The most popular colour is pure white. This blends with most common features such as windows, skirting boards, ceilings, radiators, sinks, toilets and baths. A white shutter will reflect plenty of light in your room and create the feeling of a lot more space, so our recommendation for colour is pure white. Folding. With larger panels and louvers, shutters are only open for cleaning or to open a window, so don't worry about where the shutters are going to fold back, they don't really get used like curtains anymore. A T-post is used within a shutter frame to add extra support and to help align panels with your window. They make accessing and opening on wide windows really easy and it saves wrestling with bifolding shutters. So if you have vertical uprights in your window called mullions, then we suggest using T-posts in the shutter frame to match. When thinking about how shutters fold, just keep them symmetrical so the panels on the left open to the left and the panels on the right open to the right. And any centre panels between T-posts can be hinged left or right. Split tilt. Within the design, and for extra privacy, you can choose to split the mechanism used to tilt the louvers within a panel. So when all the louvers are fully opened and tilted at the same angle, you won't see this split. But this option does allow you to tilt the louvers separately above and below the split when you need extra privacy. It's a great feature in the bedrooms or on taller windows, but remember, every time you split a panel, you double up on the amount of louver sections you need to operate and line up. So I'd use it sparingly, ideally just in the bedrooms. Frame position. And finally, where you fit the frame in your recess will affect how the shutters look from both inside and outside. The recommended default position for fitting shutters is close to the window. This looks much neater than leaving a big space behind the shutters. Fitting inside the recess will create more space and light in your room and highlight the recess as a feature. Your shutters will look more fitted than part of the window. Remember, most customers keep their shutters closed and only tilt the louvers to let the light in and out, so don't worry about where they fold back when open, as you'll only do this when opening a window for cleaning. 
So now you know how to design your shutters, step two will show you how to measure.